As the saying goes, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but what about a smoothie packed with fresh and nutritious ingredients? Our next guest says drinking a smoothie a day will give your health a big boost. Joining me now is Kathy Patalski, author of the blog Healthy Happy Life. Nice to have you here on Style. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Welcome to the, uh, the East Coast, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about your book here, 365 Vegan Smoothies. My book has, What a day. <laughs> yes, you could essentially eat a different smoothie for the entire year. And, you know, they're all plant-based, super rich in, you know, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, all that healthy stuff that you want to be adding more of to your diet. Okay, and uh, how long have you been a vegan eating, drinking smoothies? <laughs> <laughs> I've been a vegan for about 13 years now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I, I love it. It was It's hard the first couple of years to kind of adjust, mm -hmm. to find out how to be a healthy vegan, but I've just loved animals ever since I was little, and it just really fits with my lifestyle. Sure, and do they taste good? I mean, a lot of people hear the word vegan and they get a little freaked out. Right. Like well, yeah, most smoothies are pretty much almost vegan. Sometimes they'll have dairy, mm -hmm. you know, dairy, yogurt, milk, but generally they're very easy to veganize. So. Really? All yeah. right, well, let's get going. How do we start? Yeah, so first we're going to blend up a green smoothie. Everybody kind of wonders, you know. Why is this so green? It's what green. is in it? Why are <laughs> you good? feeding me green stuff? What? It's not going to taste good. But if you add um, sweet ingredients, you know, fruit is naturally sweet, mm -hmm. and you get those healthy greens. It's just a little bit of greens, but that's what the green color is from. So. Got it. Some orange juice, which is, you know, sweet and lovely. Some <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> kale, which adds that green, and it's just super rich in fiber and vitamins and minerals and so much good stuff. Some fresh mango. And you can really add as much or as little of this stuff as you want. You don't have to be really nitpicky about it. If you want specific ingredients, you know, go to something like a cookbook. <laughs> like yours. Like mine. <laughs> and half a banana is good. And then I like to make it a little creamy. Okay. So it kind of has just a really frothy texture. So a little bit of almond milk. Okay. And then, and then all this delicious, let's add also some hemp seeds. They're very rich in protein and they're buttery and they taste really good. Okay. And they'll blend nicely in there. And then we'll just press start. And this is going to turn green on us? Yes. Now, you really want to blend it a little bit more, but mm -hmm. you know, just for our the made for TV version, right? <laughs> yeah, you want to make sure to get all those little bits like super pure, but okay. you can get the idea. It turns yeah, it looks frothy great. Frothy. Oh, it looks and beautiful. Looks wonderful. Yeah. Now, do you see this as a meal replacement ever, or is this just kind of a snack? You know, I use my smoothie a day as my lunchtime smoothie. Mm -hmm. I will blend something with some protein in it. I'll add a little bit of protein powder so it gets, you know, a nice variety of healthy fats, protein, and yeah, would you like to taste it? Sure, I would love to. <laughs> Kathy, let me ask you while we drink this. Your, cheers. Cheers. Your blog has more than a million views a yes. month. How did it get so widely popular? You know, I started at a time when blogs were just starting mm -hmm. and vegan was like just starting to be hot. <laughs> now it. everybody's sort of curious. So I started at a really good time and I really focus on food photography and beautiful photos. And, and that helps, right? Yeah. Um, I'm not usually one to eat healthy or drink healthy here, but this is fantastic. Yes. I mean, you taste the orange, you taste the banana. The grapes. It's sweetness. fantastic, yeah. yeah. I mean, That's I a good grapes. one. <laughs> All right, what's next? So next, this is my secret ingredient smoothie. And if you're trying to get kids to eat smoothies mm -hmm. and you want it to be like a milkshake, the secret ingredients are frozen banana and frozen watermelon. Oh, okay. And yes, where are they? There's the frozen banana. So I have some frozen banana. Okay. And then we're just gonna add the frozen watermelon. It has a very unique texture that really makes it taste like a milkshake. Because it's really? kind of I would never have thought that. It's kind of like you said, it's, a, it's kind of like a sherbet, sure, you know, okay. a sorbet. Um, so yeah, add some of this. And this is really easy. Watermelon, frozen watermelon, frozen banana, some non-dairy milk, and then a superfood. And today I'm gonna add some turmeric. Which what are the benefits look of at this turmeric? Color. It is very orange. Turmeric is anti-inflammatory and it's really great for just you know 
cooling down inflammation in your body is great for. I mean, for, where would you find something like this? Just this a is, health food store? Or? This is a special brand that I have to order online because it's cold pressed and it's super orange. But mm -hmm. you can buy turmeric in the spice section. Oh, of, really? Okay. Yeah, any grocery store. I just blend it. And again, <laughs> to make it thicker, yeah, you would just, just keep add, blending, right? Yeah. Or add more watermelon. Add more of the frozen stuff, and it will turn into a frosty milkshake. And but you can see the color; it's kind of like a peach, very Lovely. yummy banana. Just take a taste. Oh, yeah, <laughs> well, it's so refreshing. Right. Oh, I enjoy yes. that. That's nice. <laughs> so it's hot out right there. It's summer. Oh, you know, like it's that. the perfect kind of refreshing thing. Very good. It's and super I, healthy. I see chocolate on the end. Right. So another one you can make, which... Oh, I'm going to have some more of this, actually, <laughs> when you tell us about the chocolate one. Yeah. The chocolate one adds some almond milk, about a cup of almond milk, you know, about two spoonfuls of your favorite nut butter. You can even use sunflower seed butter if your kids are allergic to nuts. This is almond butter. Um, my little niece is allergic to peanuts, so we're very careful about using that. And, you know, a big huge spoonful of chocolate and just blend this together with mm -hmm. some frozen banana and you're going to get a thick milkshake type chocolate shake. A healthy one. Yes. I see chia seeds too. Is that just something yes. you get into any oh, of these, yes. right? Yes. Um, seeds are so healthy in minerals and vitamins and fiber and you can add chia seeds to your smoothies. You can add hemp seeds to your smoothies. I personally love adding pumpkin seeds mm -hmm. to everyone. When I have that, I go like this. Put right? it right on top? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. We'll try some. Well, yeah. great. Where can we find your book, Kathy? You can find my book in bookstores. Pretty much everywhere. And you can order it online as well, Amazon. All Very those places. good. And the name of your blog again? We can find you online. It's healthyhappylifelunchboxbunch.com. Very good. Well, thank you for the smoothies. We're going to share these at the end of the yeah. show. Yeah. Yay. <laughs>